We said that it says the population, the pupil population of a certain school was 900. The ratio of boys to girls was 5 is to 4. One day, 5% of the boys and 2% of the girls, 5% of the girls and 2% of the boys went for a competition. How many people remained in the school on that day? Okay, so um, if the total ratio, 5 is to 4, this is boy is to girl, and total, total ratio, it's 9. So let's get the total number of boys. This will be 5 over 9 times 900. So this is boys. So this will be 9 here, 1, 9 here is 100. So boys, it's 500. Now girls will be 4 over 9 times 900. So 9 here is 1, 9 here is going to give us 100. So girls is what? 400. Now when you sum it up, you get back your what? Total, which is 900. Okay, now it says 5% of girls went for competition. So percentage of girls that went for competition is uh, 5 over 100 times um. Um, 5 over 100 times total number of girls is 400. So this is going to be when you cancel out your double zero. So you, you're going to get 20. So 20 girls went for competition. A percentage of boys that went for competition will be for boys. It's what? 2 over 100 times 500. Double zero will cancel out the double zero. This will give us 2 times 5. That will be 10. So total, total boys and girls that went for competition went for competition will be that's 20 plus 10 that will give us what 30 so how many people remain in the school that will not be 900 minus 30 and that will give us what 870 so 870 students were actually left in the school final answer is what Tonight says, what is the place value of digit 7 in 1605? Now, when you have a question like this, all you need to do, you have 16.05 divided by 15. Take out the decimal place, 1, 2. So, we know that this is what? 2 decimal place. So, when we perform our division, we are going to return our decimal place back. So, this is going to be 1605 all divided by 15. 15 is 216 is going to give us a 1. 15 times 1 will have a 15. So this will give us a 1 and 0. 15 cannot go into 10, so we add what? 0 here. So um, you bring down your what? 5. 15 into 105 is going to give us what? I think 15 into 105 is going to give us um, 7. 15 times 7 is going to be what? 105. So this will give us 0. Now remember, you bring back your two decimal places. This will be 1 and 2. So when you do that division, you're going to get 1.07. So what is the place value of this 7? This is a unit. This is what? Tenth. And this is what? Hundredth. So our final answer here is going to be 700. Now... Question 40 says the figure below represents a farm. What is the area of the farm in square meters? Now, look at this question carefully. For you to get the area of this shape, you need to understand that this area is made up of two shapes. One, it's what? A trapezium. This is a trapezium. Why this is what? A square. The reason is because the four sides are equal. Now, all we need to do is to add up the area of the trapezium plus area of the square. So, um, we know the formula for getting our area of trapezium, which is what? Half times sum of parallel sides times height. Area of trapezium. Okay, but for the square, our square is going to be length times width. But notice, we are not giving this side. So we need to get this side. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a dotted line. This is my dotted line. Okay. So now I've drawn this dotted line. This place is still what? 24. Now, how do I get this place from here to here? 
So when you look up, from here to here is what? 63. And from here to here will be what? 73. So when you subtract 73 from 66, you get this side. So this is going to be 73 minus 66, and that will give us um, 7 meters. So now, and you know that here is what? A 90 degree. So I have a right angle triangle here. So this is 24 meters. This is what? 7 meters. And I have my right angle. Now, what do you do here? This is what your hypotenuse. So you apply Pythagoras theorem so you can get the length of here. So your hypotenuse square is going to be 24 square plus 7 square. So what will 24 square give us? So 24 multiplied by 24 will be 4 times 24. This will be 4 times 4, 6, carry 1. Um, 16, 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1, 9. 2 times 24 will be 48. When you sum this up, this will give you uh, 576. So this is going to be, hypotenuse square will be 576 plus 7 square will be 49. So when you sum this up, it's going to give you 9 plus 6 is going to give us 5. You carry 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus um, 4 is 12, you put 2 and you carry 1 on 5, that will be 6 to 5. Therefore, our hypotenuse will now be um, square root of 6 to 5. And square root of 6 to 5 is going to give us what? That's 25. So you need to know your perfect square. So now we know the square is what? 25 meters. Everywhere is going to be what? 25 meters. So with that, we can now find the area of the shape. Now, how do we find the area of the shape? It's going to be area of trapezium plus area of square. So this is going to be um, half times, what's the sum of the parallel size? That will be 66 plus 73 times 24 plus area of square will be what? 25 times 24. So this is going to be what? 2 here is 1. 2 into 24 will be 12. 66 plus 73. 6 plus 3 will give us 9. 6 plus 7 is 13. 139 times 12 plus 625. So 139 multiplied by 12. Let's do that. That will give us uh, 2 times 9 is 8. Carry 1. 2 times 3. Um, 6 plus 1, 7, and you have your 1. 1 times 1, 39, 1, 3, 9. So when you sum this up, this is going to give you 6, 1. This will give us 5. This will give us 1. So we have um, 1, 5, 6, 8 plus 6, 2, 5. So when you sum up 1, 5, 6, 8 plus 6, 2, 5, you're going to get 8 plus 5, you get 3. Plus 1, 6 plus 2 is what? 8 plus 1, we have 9. 5 plus 6, um, 5 plus 6, 5. So we'll be performing um, 139 times 12. That will give us um, 139 multiplied by 12. 2 times 9 is 18, carry 1. 2 times 3, 6 plus 1, that will be 7. 2 times 1 is 2. Then we have our 1, 3, 9. So this is going to give us 8. 9 plus 7 is 6. Carry your 1. This will be 6 plus 1. So this is going to be 1, 6, 6, 8 plus 6, 2, 5. So when you sum up 1, 6, 6, 8 plus 6, 2, 5, you're going to get 8 plus 5 is 3. Carry 1. This will be 6 plus 2, 8 plus 1, 9. 6 plus 6 is 12, you write 2, you carry 1, and you get 2. So this means our final answer is going to be 2, 2, 9, 3, and um, our unit is going to be what? Meter square. So the correct answer here is um, C, and our circle my C.